In a previous video, I showed you how to do an iTree canopy analysis. And in this video, we hope to show you how to do a comparison of a canopy analysis from now to previous eras, as long as you can get Google Earth images of your area in previous times and it will be done this way. You'll go through the regular analysis where you make your categories of different things. I have done this for Staten Island. I actually drew the polygon of Staten Island rather than did a shapefile. That seemed fairly simple. And then I started my analysis and I had I made my categories of trees, buildings, impervious cover ground, grass, shrubs, and water. So this is the percentages that I had of each one of those types. And I only did, I think, 150 points, something like that. I didn't, uh, I didn't strain myself. And you can see the error bars aren't enormous, but the, the largest part is trees and according to a video I just watched by David Nowak uh, in urban areas you can expect to get um, between 34 and 35 percent trees and the same thing in other areas so uh, canopy is pretty predictable in urban areas unless you're right downtown in this uh, instance it looks like we have 20 per, like 20 percent buildings 25 percent impervious cover, ground, that would be streets, pavements, driveways, etc. Grass, 15%, shrubs, 4.3, that's a very liberal interpretation of shrubs and water. Probably doesn't matter, water, uh, Staten Island is surrounded by water. You may be interested in is comparing it, and Staten Island is probably, you know, not a good thing, but you may be living someplace where there's been a lot of development in the last 20, 30 years, and you might want to take a look at that. Here you have um, your data. I have my finished stuff and then what you can do is KMZ out. You can click that and what you get, what I got in this case was Staten Island KMZ. You locate it in the folder um, and then you click it and then your Google Earth opens up. And here's here's the Google Earth that we have here. Because it has points can go over here to places where you have them. I have Staten Island and all of these these dots open up. So you can actually zoom to every one of these dots and you can do it sequentially and see if anything's changed. Work through each existing survey point on this this and change the the um, change the category here. So if this became a building, you'd change it to building. Now you've saved your data, so then when you save your data again, you might save what, what date it is. So let's look over here. So you can go on to, to Google Earth, and then you can get a timeline. And go to the timeline. 1995 might be a little better. We can, we can go from point to point. So three here was a building and let's see if it was a building there. Yes, it was a building there and four. So, you know, it won't take you too long to to do this and come up with another analysis that what you can do then is as you're changing the numbers and in this case I had 150 numbers. So you'll get a different number and you can go to the different timelines and this is especially helpful for different areas of the country where there may be um, rapid settling or changing of the landscape or increase in impervious cover and you might want to catalog it. It works and it's really good that Google ha gives us this timeline that we can um, use and they try to keep up with the best the best images that they can possibly get. 